There have been all kinds of special emotional support animals, horses, cows, uh, even snakes. Those are some of the ones that come to mind. Yeah, and it's rare to see the emotional support snake. Right. It <clears throat> doesn't happen that often. <laughs> and in Indiana, an emotional support skunk has become a favorite at mm. work. And there you see him. This is Nugget. He hangs out with Knox County dispatchers every day. That's interesting. Nugget, kind of. That is very interesting. Yeah. Normally when I see a skunk, I definitely go the other way. Yes. Nugget gets treats, lap naps, and love from the entire office. It's like a weighted blanket. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't make any noise. He just sits on my lap and it's nice to have that like distraction after after a busy time. Just kind of hangs out with us and doesn't do a whole lot and is just kind of a chill little animal and after we have a big call the the dispatchers will uh, tend to pet him or hold him or do whatever they need to just to kind of relax a little bit. If okay. you are wondering about the smell because of course that was my first question. Yeah. Domestic skunks in Indiana have to be descented before you get them. Which Where do you get them? This is a whole lot of questions. Right. How many people in Indiana have skunks that they have a law about descenting them? No kidding. I mean, if, if it comes up often enough that legislators have to get right. involved, right? And I mean, do you get them at a pet store? Right, do where you, do you find them? You catch them in the wild? Add the newspaper? I don't know. So <laughs> if you have a pet skunk that's descented, send us an email. Right, maybe, let us know. Maybe we'll come do a story on, on your descented skunk. <clears throat> I wonder how many there are in Virginia.